Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Beis HaLevi. Today we start chapter Ches, number 8. Hasina goremes ta'arumes umachlekes. Sina, when a person hates another Jew, it also will engender ta'arumes, resentment, complaining, umachlekes, and arguments and disputes with others. There are many other sins that Sina will cause. Remember, if you if you if you're over on the transgression of you're not allowed to hate your fellow in your heart. You will trample on many other averas and sins and mitzvahs as well. And the Beis Halevi in the last chapter spoke about this. And now he has even more insights into what exactly we are setting ourselves up for, the very delicate, fragile situation that we're going to be in as a result. There is a Mesech, a tractate called Derech Eretz. And it says like this, Rabbi Allah HaKapar Oymer. Rabbi Allah HaKapar says, Hisrachek minatiromes, distance yourself from resentment. Shim Tisrayim, because if you resent somebody else, Taisif Lachta, you will continue to sin. Now, what does it mean to resent? It doesn't only mean resenting, it also means complaining. A person is a complainer. There are certain people in this world, they seem to be very skilled in this area. You can always catch a good complaint coming out of their mouth. They go to a restaurant, they complain about the food. They come to a shul, they complain about the davening. They go to a shir, they complain about the speaker. They go to the store to buy some clothes, they complain that they have nothing for them to wear. They go on vacation, they sit around, they complain, it didn't work out like this, it didn't work out like that, it didn't work out like that. A person who is a complainer means that they are in a very negative state of mind. They're looking at things in the wrong way. They're thinking about things negatively. There is not the positive uh, vision of this world that they're supposed to have. They're living in a world that is muddled in darkness. They're living in a headspace which is so negative and so anti-positivity and seeing the good in others and the like. What is the natural words that are going to come out of their mouth? Says the Beis HaLevi, it's going to be feelings, it's going to be words of complaints and resentment. And this, in fact, is really a terrible way for a person to live because when a person gets into the world of negativity, everything that they see around them has some something that is bad, that is wrong, something that's going to bother me, something that I'm going to end up complaining about. And the truth of the matter is that the Rebbeinu Yoyna in Shari Tshuva, explains the following, that even though that a person that's complaining perhaps is not committing a specific sin, but the nature of being a complainer will lead a person to many other sins. It will lead you to Lashon Hara. It will lead you to more Sinas Chinam. It will lead you to rejoicing over the downfall of one's fellow Jew. Because since that you're such a kvetcher and a complainer, so there, therefore, it makes you happy when you see other people that are failing and falling and doing the wrong things. Now, Rabbi Yoyne explains over there that how do you define someone that is a complainer? And he says, it's someone that's complaining consistently and he repeatedly disparages whatever his friend says or does. That means that even if his friend is acting in a proper way towards him, He's kind to him. He's nice to him. Nevertheless, the complainer who is in that world of tarumis, of complaining, and of and of uh, and not arguing over here, but of being resentful, that person he's always going to see the wrong that another person does, even if it was done unintentionally, even if it was done not the right way. He's always going to look and try to find something that is wrong. And therefore, whatever his friend says, or whatever his friend does, he's going to continue to complain, even if his friend is out there trying to help him. I remember there was uh, 
some kind of a meme, I guess that's what you call it, when Trump was the president and the whole, you know, the whole democratic world was against him. And, the, and it, I think they still are. It's a volatile fight between the two of them. We're not taking sides over here between either of them. Each one has their issues and their problems. But whatever it is that he did that was good, the other side would say, no, it's bad. He lowers the price of gas. How dare he lower the price of gas? He stops wars in the world. Why? We want wars. What is he doing over here? He, he's, he puts up a wall to keep the criminals out of America. What a chutzpah. How can he do such a thing? We want criminals to run around. So there was a, a meme that they produced, and it was a group of protesters, and uh, it, was, uh, it was showing that Trump had ended cancer in the world. And the signs were, how dare he put an end to cancer? Meaning the following, that if you are looking at somebody in a negative way because you are a complainer and you are resentful and the like, even if the person is saving the universe, you'll find a reason to look at them and put them down and say not nice things about them. And therefore, says the Beis HaLevi, become a better person. Get out of the world of complaining, of kvetching, of wallowing away, of bemoaning your plight, of looking down on people. Stop it already. The way that a person talks is the way that that person is going to live their life. If you are a complainer, you're going to see a really negative world in front of you. If you are a praiser, if you're someone that talks nicely about others, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, but you find good words to say about situations and other people, you're going to be a happy, peaceful, relaxed, positive person. Our words have a lot of strength. The way in which we talk is defining of who we are. So Amir Hashem, we have to get this resentful complaining out of our lexicon of speech. We have to get into a headspace where we're positive and we see things in a good light. And anytime you want to say the negative, either keep your mouth closed or find something positive that's going to come and combat the pessimistic negative outlook that unfortunately so many of us allow ourselves to fall into. Have a wonderful, positive, uplifting, and excellent day. All the best.